So this is just a quick little video on how you can convert and play WAV files on your Flipper Zero. Pretty much all of this information came from a GitHub link from Uber Guidos. Under the WAV file player, you can kind of look around, find the README, and it kind of walks you through the whole thing. If you want to learn to use your Flipper better, start looking into the README files. Just start reading everything you can. There's a lot of great information out there. You really just have to search for it. If you've already got some WAV files, that's great. If not, you know, hop onto YouTube, grab a video or a link, throw it through a converter maybe. And from there, you've got a brand new WAV file saved to the desktop. So first thing I did, ran to YouTube, found something I like the sound of. Go ahead, throw it in a quick little YouTube to WAV file converter. That can be found through Google. Use whatever you like. Once you've got your WAV files, you can go ahead and open Audacity. Throw your files in there. Go ahead and edit them. Chop them down a little bit. If you want to try and clean them up, reduce some noise, that's always a possibility. I've had good luck with just the files from the jump. You don't want your files to be too long on there. Obviously, it's just going to take up a lot of space on the flipper. I think the longest one I have on my flipper so far is like a four-minute clip of Norm MacDonald doing stand-up. It sounds okay, it's good, but you really don't need four minutes of any audio on the flipper in my eyes. Once you're finished with Audacity, you're just going to go ahead and export the audio. You want to make sure the save type is a wave, and under encoding, you need to make sure it's unsigned 8-bit PCM. I mean, it is just a music file. You want to go ahead and get a little creative with the track title artist name, but that's pretty much irrelevant for what we're using it for on the flipper. Once you're done with Audacity, you can go ahead and open QFlipper up or throw the SD card in your computer to drag the file over. It's really just a personal preference. QFlipper does take a little bit longer to move files. 
From there, if you're on QFlipper or your SD card, just go ahead and drag that new file we created over into the SD card. Then you can go ahead and just go through applications, go to Wave Player, select the file you just uploaded, give it a play, make sure everything's working fine. So, I mean, this is just the standard audio from my computer with no microphone attached from the flipper. So, obviously, it's not great, but we all know the flipper is not the best music player to begin with. And so that's basically it. Once again, big thank yous to Uber Guidos, Rogue Master Unleashed, pretty much everybody on every single forum that's putting in a good bit of work right here.